Hey everyone, we're in Pemsley Gale Woods today and we're going to play a game to see what floats and sinks. We love it down here by the river. Anyway, right, first of all, we're going to test out the leaf. So if you think it's going to float, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's going to sink, give me a thumbs down. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa! It floated! Well done if you thought it would float. Good effort. Right, next, we're going to go for... Uh, let's go for the stone or the rock. Again, if you think it's going to float, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's going to sink, give me a thumbs down. You ready? Oh, it sank. So that one sunk to the bottom, didn't it? Now then, what about the stick? Tricky one. Again, if you think it's going to float like the leaf, give it a thumbs up. If you think it's going to sink like a stone, give it a thumbs down. You ready? Whoa, it's floated. Amazing. Now, we've got a brilliant story today about Jesus, and he did something amazing on the water. And he also helped his friend Peter do something amazing. So have a listen and see what happens. Walking on the water. Jesus had been outside talking to lots of people all day long. Towards the end of the day, he grew tired, so he found somewhere quiet to be on his own. He wanted time to pray to his father, God. After he'd finished praying, he saw the disciples a long way off, in the middle of the lake. He started walking towards them, on the water. The disciples couldn't believe their eyes. Is that Jesus walking on the water, they thought? It is me, said Jesus. Don't worry, don't be afraid. If it's really you, said Peter, tell me to walk on the water too. Come on then, said Jesus. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus. But when Peter took his eyes off Jesus and looked at the wind and waves and started to worry, he started to sink. Jesus grabbed hold of him. Don't worry, trust in me, Peter. So Peter and Jesus walked back on the water to the boat to be with the rest of the disciples. When they got in the boat, the wind and the waves had died down. The disciples praised Jesus. Wow, he really must be somebody amazing, they thought. The end. In that story, Peter had to really trust in Jesus. That's really good, but what does trust mean? Well, trust is basically when you know somebody is safe and that they want to look after you. All right, so who do you trust in, Hannah? Well, Ben, I trust you. I know that when I'm with you, I'm safe and that you want the best for me and you want to look after me. It's a bit like Isaac, because you're his mum, he knows that you want to keep him safe and you want to look after him. So he trusts you, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. And it says in the Bible that children, they trust in their parents, but parents aren't perfect. Sometimes mums and dads make mistakes, but it says that, that God is perfect, so we can trust in him totally because his love is perfect and he promises to keep us safe. Now, Ben, shall we have a little game of um, poo sticks with Miriam and Naomi? Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's go and get them. See you in a minute. Right, girls, ready for a game of poo sticks? Yeah. yeah. Right, Miriam, you're red. Naomi's green. <laughs> I'm blue. After three, we're going to throw it in the river. Are you ready? Three, two, one, throw! When Miriam, Naomi and Ben just threw those sticks in the water, they had to trust that the water would carry the sticks all the way to the end of the river. Just like Peter had to trust in Jesus when he walked on the water. And we can trust in Jesus too. There's three really important things that it says about Jesus in the Bible. Oh, the first stick's just come in. Which one's it going to be? Oh, it's nearly here. Let me just grab it. There it is. It's the green stick. That was Naomi's. 
And one of the really important things it says in the Bible is that Jesus will always be there for us and he will never leave us. And so we can trust that. That's really important. Right, let's see if the next stick is on its way. Oh yeah, it's just coming. I can see it. Which colour is it going to be? Let's reach out and grab it. Oh. It is the red stick, which is Miriam's stick. And the next thing it says in the Bible is that Jesus wants to give us really good things. He's got good plans for our lives and we can trust in that. Isn't that amazing? Goodbye stick. Oh, here comes the last stick. Here it comes. We know what colour this is. This is a blue stick. Last but not least, this was Ben's stick. And the last thing that it says in the Bible is if we believe in Jesus and we are friends with him, then when we die, we go to heaven to be with him. And that is the most amazing promise, and we can trust in that promise. Goodbye, blue stick. So I hope you've enjoyed Three Sixes today. It's been great being with you, and we will see you again soon. Bye.